This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. All right, everyone, I hope you're all doing fantastic. So I've come across this article here where Eddie Hearn has accused Ozan Usyk and all his team of being greedy in their demands to step aside, as they are the WBO mandatory for Anthony Joshua, to allow Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. So Eddie Hearn is saying that Ozan Usyk and his team are greedy in their demands. Automatically, I know what some of you guys and girls are going to be there at the fingertips ready because you've seen the headline of this video. Eddie Hearn, that's rich, yada, yada, yada. So we're going to cover that as this video goes along. I'll get into Eddie Hearn's statement as well. I'll give you guys the surrounding details as to what everything is going on as well as. So make sure you are subscribed if you're not already. Anyway, we'll get straight into Eddie Hearn's statement. Then, of course, we'll break everything down. So it's what Eddie Hearn had to say. I think it's a situation where, and this isn't really a dig at any of Usyk's team, but some people just have the idea that he should be getting millions of dollars to step aside to allow Fury versus Joshua. Really what will happen is we will apply to the WBO for the undisputed fight. And if they say no, you need to talk to Alexander Usyk. We will go to Alexander Usyk and we'll try to make him happy to allow that fight to go on. It's like, do you really want to stop this fight from happening? Now, you have to be respected because you are in a mandatory position, but there is a solution. As I said before, this fight between Fury and AJ will happen with the belts or not one at all. But the problem is, when there's a big fight like this, everyone wants, and I've got to get my words right here, the greed is unbelievable. It's going to come down to the fighters. The fighters are paying millions of dollars to sanction fees. I heard someone say that Usyk wants a percentage of AJ and Fury's purse to step aside. And I was like, come on, mate. But there is a solution, and if everyone's smart together, we can find a solution. And I really want it to be for undisputed. But that's because it's always been a dream for AJ to become undisputed, and we'll do everything we can for him. But we're not going to be held to ransom by anybody. Eddie Hearn's statement. Now, before we break down some of the things that he said here, the background situation is Alexander Usyk is the WBO mandatory, and that has already been called for Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk next. These guys have been waiting for quite some time. Whether you agree that Alexander Usyk should be the mandatory or not, that's entirely on you, but the reality is he is, okay? That fight's been ordered. So if Fury does not fight Joshua, the fight that he must fight next is Alexander Usyk or vacate the WBO World Heavyweight title. But the way that what most people in boxing will want, of course, is AJ versus Fury undisputed. Again, if you are new into boxing and you don't really know the rules around undisputed, to become undisputed in today's era, you need four of the main belts. WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO. So you need all four of those belts. You don't need Ring Magazine, you don't need Lineal, you don't need the IBO, you don't need European, you don't need British, you don't need any, any of that. You just need those four titles that I've just given you the list of. Now, his situation, Alexander Usyk, okay, he's a mandatory. But if he was to fight Joshua, he would get paid very handsomely, wouldn't he? Not because he's the mandatory challenger, not because the WBO pay out a lot of money to the mandatory challengers, no, no. It's because he's fighting Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua generates a lot of revenue. An example would be if when Anthony Joshua lost to Andy Ruiz Jr., had he not have defeated Ruiz Jr. in the rematch, and Ruiz is still champion right now, and Usyk was to fight Ruiz, then Usyk would get paid nowhere near the amount of money that he would get paid for Joshua. So there is that one argument where to say, listen, just because you're fighting Joshua doesn't mean that you're entitled to X amount of money. Okay, it is what it is. But in order for Fury and Joshua to fight for Undisputed, Usyk has to agree to step aside. Now, some people do have this, and I want to call it a delusion, because it is a delusion, that if a unification happens, and especially for undisputed, that trumps mandatories, okay? It's actually not true. I don't know where people get that from, but it's not true. Sanctioning bodies do say we'll all support a unification, especially for undisputed, but you know what? They don't have to. It's not within contracts, it's not within anything, that unification will always trump the mandatory, not at all. One situation will be this one, with, funny enough, the WBO. When Joseph Parker for Andy Ruiz Jr. for the vacant WBO World Heavyweight title, Joseph Parker, he won the belt, the WBO insisted that his next fight 
should be against the WBO mandatory. At the time, it was David Hay. David Hay, he pulled out of that situation to go fight Tony Bellew. Why? For more money, right? In steps, Huey Fury. He's a mandatory. The WBO said, you must face Huey Fury next. No unification with Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder at that time. We will not allow any unification until you fulfill your mandatory obligation, which is why he ended up fighting Huey Fury. Of course, originally that fight when it was supposed to have happened didn't happen due to uh, Huey Fury getting injured. Razvan Kajan, who stepped in as an interim, then Parker went and fought um, Huey Fury. Then he was free to have a unification. Why? Because a unification is a voluntary. So WBO, they do have a little history of blocking unification. So this is nothing unique. Now, when Eddie Hearn, he talks about where he's having this imaginary conversation with Alexander Usyk to say, mate, do you really want to stop Fury versus Joshua happening? Well, here's the thing. Alexander Usyk will not give a monkey's rat's ass about Fury versus Joshua. They are his challenges. He wants to be undisputed. You could say, but... Why doesn't he just wait and he'll just fight for all the belts? It doesn't quite work that way. The way that Alexander Usyk will want it and many other fighters will want it is they want to fight Fury or Joshua. In Usyk's case, it'll be Anthony Joshua. Beat Joshua as an example, then Usyk will want to go fight um, Fury for Undisputed himself. That's how it's going to be. Okay, He doesn't care whether the fans want Fury versus Joshua or not. Doesn't care about that. But the way that he sees it, and I'm pretty sure that um, I wouldn't be too far off the mark on this one, will be, well, I can allow you guys to fight if you want, even though I'm entitled to my WBO World Heavyweight title match against Joshua. I can step aside, but I don't have to, because for me, I want to fight Joshua. Again, it's not just going to be he's going to be fighting for the WBO title. He'll be fighting for all the belts that Joshua currently has. That's how it works. But he can say, okay, fine. If you want to step aside, no problem. I'm not going to allow you to step aside. So therefore, okay, vacate the belt. Usyk is in a powerful position where he can insist that WBO strip Anthony Joshua of that WBO World Heavyweight title. And they'll probably do it as well. Regardless of the fact that there's a lot of money to be made here in sanction fees, all that kind of thing. We know what WBO are like, okay? So he could pull the WBO belt off of Joshua. So Joshua versus Fury happens, not for undisputed. People want it to be for undisputed. Me, I'm not too hung up on the whole undisputed thing. It is what it is. But that's the kind of position that Usyk is in right now. I can fight Joshua next, make millions. And then I can beat Joshua and then I can go fight uh, Fury myself. If you don't want me to fight Joshua right now and, and you want me to wait, well, the kind of money that I could have got and would have got to fight Anthony Joshua, pay me now, no problem, I'll step aside. Him asking for a percentage is what it is. Now, for Eddie Hearn to say what Alexander Usyk and his team are demanding is greed, such as a percentage or a X amount or whatever it may be for millions, for him to say he's greed, it is very, very two-faced, let's be honest. Now, of course, I know Eddie Hearn, I've met him several times, interviewed him a few times now as well, but to be brutally honest here, with him wanting Fury versus Joshua, of course, for Undisputed, and yes, all of those sanctioning bodies will get a percentage of whatever that fight generates, okay? But he wants to put that fight abroad. Now, of course, he will try and spin it a little bit by saying, well, ultimately, it's down to Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua as to where this fight happens. But to be honest with you, if the fight happens here in the UK, and it's what Eddie Hunter said before, well, if you fight here in the UK, you could earn 40, maybe 50 million dollars pounds each or you can you can go abroad for example saudi arabia and then double that where do you think the fighters are going to go now will eddie hearn try and convince them to fight in the uk anyway of course not because he gets a percentage of what anthony joshua makes what a percentage of what the event makes maybe i don't quite know how eddie hearn's percentage works but he will want it abroad because he makes more money what does that mean greed eddie hearn wants this fight to generate as much money as he possibly can. Why? Because it's greed. Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, will probably want to fight abroad rather than give the UK fans an undisputed fight on UK soil so they can go earn double the amount of money abroad. Why? Greed. People can say, but it's prize fighting. They need money, pay their bills, all this kind of thing. Really? <laughs> 
I don't think Fury and Joshua are, for, are, are short of a few quid, and it's not like they're going to be fighting here in the UK for next to nothing, is it? They're both going to be record high paydays for both of them fighting here in the UK. But, granted, it is a prize fighting sport. Okay, you go where the money is. And, of course, I fully understand that. But, again, as a side note as well, just because Fury and Joshua on paper have earned millions, we don't know what, what their situation is in real life. Maybe they've got some kind of huge debt problems. Maybe they've made some wrong investments. Maybe they've got some gambling problems. Maybe money comes in, money goes out. We really don't know what the situation is, do we? But it, it is greed, isn't it? Eddie Hearn, will he want to be friendly spirit? Of course he will. Of course he will. But he's not going to be too fussed about handing over the WBO belt, handing over the WBA belt, handing over the IBF belt for Joshua. Fury, hand over the WBC belt. No belts on the line. That means we are saving a few million by not paying sanctioning fees. That means more money in the pocket of Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren, Bob Arum, Tarson Fury, Anthony, Joshua, Sky, BT Sport, etc., etc. Greed. So to accuse Alexander Usyk of being greedy is very, very two-faced. But granted, at the same time, as I said before, Usyk will only be entitled to millions because he's fighting Anthony Joshua. If he's fighting somebody else, he wouldn't be getting millions. So again, that does have to be talked through, I suppose. Either way, that's what's going on. For me, will Alexander Usyk step aside? Maybe. Why not? Because at the end of the day, He's going to be getting paid handsomely anyway. It's not like they're going to give him 50 grand, is it? Of course not. They're going to pay him a lot of money. Are they going to give him the kind of money that he would probably demand? No. But ultimately, you start off high and then reach a point where you probably will be quite happy with. So if he's demanding, say, 10 million from this fight that could be making hundreds of millions for all we know, again, Sky Sports, BT Sport, what pay-per-view price do you think that, that's what they're going to bump it up to? While they're bumping up, greed, right? But this fight will make millions. Absolutely millions upon millions. Even more if it's for undisputed, correct? So Alexander Usyk saying, if you want to be for undisputed and you want to make X, X amount of money, if you want to have this legacy fight for undisputed, cool, pay me. So he's in a very good position. And anybody who's in Alexander Usyk's position, if Eddie Hearn was in Alexander Usyk's position, if Eddie Hearn was promoting, managing Alexander Usyk and not Joshua or Fury, what do you think he'd be saying right now? Alexander Usyk should be getting millions. Of course he would. So again, let's be a little bit fair about it. Anyway, that's what's going on. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.